How are we doing guys? Chase here from Renderite uh, and in today's video we're going to be going through the Twin Motion public roadmap. I know it's not an interesting video but we're going to go on there and have a look at what is coming for Twin Motion. Uh, it's been a little bit quiet on the Twin Motion side in terms of updates and stuff like that but there's a lot of stuff going on in the background which is, is a major um, heaps of development going on so we can go on there and have a look what's to come. Um, in regards to my Twin Motion to Unreal Engine video, um, that's just being put on hold to next week, um, which will give me enough time to get that video up to scratch in terms of quality and how I want it. So let's jump into this video and make a start and yeah, let's go. So what we're going to do first is we're going to head over to the um, Twin Motion Public Roadmap website. So just go to Google and type in Twin Motion. I've already looked it up. Uh, but yeah, just Twin Motion Public Roadmap, so we're going to select that. And then at the top we have uh, portal.productboard.com, so this is the release Twin Motion Public Roadmap. Um, we're just going to click on that one for now. And here we are. So in this tab we've got released, in this one we have in progress, and in this one we have under consideration. So in the released one, you've got all of the release notes and um, updates and hot fixes and all that. So you can see everything that has been an up updated in Twinmotion so far, which is pretty impressive. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, and then these two are the important ones for us. So we're going to go to the in progress tab. And then here you can see what is in progress um, in the background for Twinmotion. So We've got smart, smart grass material, um, there's a spacing, area tools update, orbit camera, volume triggers, projector light, automatic LOD generation. That looks quite cool. So to get a, you know, a, a brief um, idea of what these items will do, you can click on, click on the box here and then you have a little um, paragraph of what, what this will do. So, Adding an automatic LOD generation on imported assets using LOD significantly enhances scene performance. So this is pretty cool. Like interactive presentation, that will be a big one. Uh, create a feature that allow a user in F12 full screen mode to click on a button in the 3D scene to trigger actions. Um, so this will be used to create interactive presentations, but it will also be um, used to change the color of the countertop of a kitchen or a car paint. So I know a lot of you who use Unreal Engine um, That's quite uh, Not a struggle to set up, but you know, there's a lot of workarounds to to try and get it to work and to get it to get it running properly in Unreal Engine when in Twinmotion they're bringing that as kind of like a template into the software so this will be built into the software and it, it'll just be more simple or simplified to use so this is a, a big one um, you've even got flip faces on meshes mirror meshes so there's a lot of stuff that's coming in in regards to the modeling side of it as well um, you've you've actually got here look, productivity and improvements if you scroll down you've got deliver real-time visuals as realistic as possible so this is upgrading the improved wind for foliage material virtual shadow maps enhanced height fog like there's some crazy stuff coming nanite um, uv randomizer so someone on my youtube channel actually asked me this is there a way to randomize uvs and i said that um, in twin motion there will be an update coming out eventually where you'll be able to um, randomize uvs and this is where i got it from so I, I'm just constantly checking the in progress and under consideration tab. The in progress tab is my main concern because those are the ones that are in progress and that's what's been working on in the background. So you can actually click on these and go down to the bottom here and it's got how important is this to you. So not important, nice to have important or critical. So I've actually gone into the ones that actually mean a lot to me, like the smart grass material, because that's a big one that everyone is wanting. Um, and then I just went down to critical, why do you need this? Um, 
um, increase um, scene productivity or something like that you know like um, or efficiency or you know and then just submit with your email address and that will send that to the the team at twin motion letting them know that wow okay this is more important than the other one so we're going to pump more work into getting this one released in the next update or so if if something is important to you in terms of of, of what's in the twin motion public roadmap you can actually select on it and and request you know if it's nice to have or important or critical to you okay because a lot of these things in here might be important to your workflow etc so it means a lot if you do submit these so yeah we've got this in progress tab you can see here there's a lot of cool things coming there's a huge trees mega mega pack uh, coming which can contain 62 growable trees so for anyone wondering where's the trees at here they are and they're coming soon so do not freak out um, we're just going to move on to the under consideration tab now so the under consideration tab are the items that are at least important so the ones in the in progress tab is the ones that Twinmotion are currently working on. The ones under consideration is what they're thinking about adding. So you can go through here, pick out ones that you like. Um, for example, here, LA Heights automotive scene. Um, if you really want it, add it to your critical list and submit that. Um, they're constantly changing these around so some some days you might see it in progress and some days you might see it under consideration but that's uh, in regards to um, how important these these tools are so you know like um, if it's important to you uh, submit those those things to to help the, the twin motion team um, recognize what is important to you so uh, under the under consideration tab we have fog cards so add a fog card tool uh, local height fog so they're looking at adding local height fog um, in here which looks pretty cool volumetric clouds enhanced sun and sky meta humans there's so much going on in twin motion right now so for for anyone wondering you know like d5 is doing this and lumion's doing this and you know Twin Motion's doing this. They're doing this in the background, and it's like a simplified UE5, basically. Like that's to the point where they're getting it. And you can see here of what of what is going to be added into Twin Motion. So if they add all of this stuff into the Twin Motion software, it's going to be one heck of a software. So go on here. Don't freak out about any updates that haven't arrived yet. People are working on it in the background. Stay tuned for, for the, the new Twin Motion updates that will be coming out in the future because they will be pretty insane. Um, and yeah, so this, ba uh, this video was basically just to provide to people who are wondering about updates and stuff like that where that stands at the moment in terms of Twin Motion. So you've got this list you can go through, the Twin Motion public roadmap. Um, they even have one for Unreal Engine 5, so for anyone that is using Unreal Engine 5 and they're looking to, to find out the updates for that as well, same thing, just go to Google Unreal Engine 5 Public Roadmap and the same thing will pop up and you can do that. Um, if anyone wants me to create a video on the Unreal Engine 5 Public Roadmap, let me know. It is pretty straightforward, um, so it's not really something to, to make a video out of it it's usually something that you know you can go off and look at yourself but if there are people out there that want me to create a video on that i don't mind doing that so yeah thanks heaps for watching this video and i hope you got something out of it as there is a lot coming to twin motion and it's something to be excited for so stay tuned for future videos remember part two of my um, twin motion to unreal engine video will be out next week and then followed by part three which will be the unreal engine side of things so stay tuned thanks to all my new subscribers you're incredible and we'll see you on the next video cheers